G'day everyone, uh, welcome back to my workshop. Um, the bowl project is complete, um, all finished up, and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I can't believe a year is over and done with. Uh, so now I need to figure out what else I'm going to put up here. Um, so let's start with this project that I'm currently working on. Um, not long ago when I um, uploaded my website or uh, launched my website, um, one of my mates posted it and through that I got um, a commission job for some cremation urns for one of his friends. Um, this lady's dad passed away and she just had him sitting in the blue plastic box that she got from um, the crematorium and wanted something a bit nicer. So after going backwards and forwards with her for a bit, um, doing some drawings, having a, having a bit of a think about what's going on, uh, we came up with a bit of a final idea. She was very easy to deal with and very relaxed with it all. So um, I yeah, I knocked up a bit of a mock-up, which is this one here, um, which is the you know it's a full scale mock-up um, I've never done an urn before done plenty of hollow form stuff but never done an urn which is uh, you've got to deal with making sure you've got the right volume in there um, and so full scale mock-up which actually works well to get your proportions right I can see what I need to change what I like if everything looks good uh, in a full scale form and also making sure that uh, the ashes fit, which they do thankfully um, uh, in this this size. She's got half for her and half for her brother, so I'm doing one each. Um, so went through, picked some wood out, and that's uh, ready to go on the lathe. Um, so let's have a look and see what's what's going on. Alright, so as you can see, this isn't square. Um, I got a bit, over, I knew I was going to film this and I got a little bit distracted one afternoon in here and, um, well, let's not say distracted, let's say got excited and chucked it on the lathe and started hoeing into it and then when I finished I went, oh, I haven't actually started filming this. So, this is where I'm at so far with getting um, the shape sorted. It's always, I've, I'm having this, uh, let's pull that back a bit. Um, this is the mock-up one, having that close by just to make sure that your proportions and your, your sizes and stuff are all coming along pretty well. I'm not after sort of perfect copy um, but close enough because I'm happy with the dimensions on this um, so from now on you'll see the next few steps and stuff of this this uh, urn but just pretend that you saw this as a square and I um, through skill and precision have turned it into this shape um, as you see it now. Um, she wanted some gnarly wood with a bit of character in it so I've got some uh, resin already in here I started to feel as a big block. Uh, it didn't go in as well I don't have a vacuum chamber or anything fancy like that so I will get it down to sort of the final form or close enough to it and then sand it up a little bit uh, roughly just to make sure it's all looking good and then I'll come back through with some more um, coloured epoxy and fill all the cracks and all these um, voids and bird's eyes and um, just get it all sealed up nice so uh, I just need to take a little bit more off down here round that over a little bit more uh, and then we're good to start hogging out the inside as well so stick around um, and we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it all turns out well because I don't have another piece of this wood. Um, yeah, so that's that. Oh, and this is black wattle um, if anyone is interested. 
the other one, which I'll show you at the end, is out of Shio. I've already finished that one, um, but I'll do a compare the pair and see how well I got in terms of closeness. Anyway, let's get on to it. sanded up to 400 um, all that uh, epoxy's done pretty well filling all the gaps um, and I've got a few little cracks but I can fill that with uh, CA and a few like bits and pieces like that but now we're going to hollow out as much of this as we can with uh, force and a bit um, and then I'll hog out the rest with the hollowing tool, but we'll just get started with this and go from there. But it's coming along really well. So let's see how it goes.
So I've just sanded the inside of this. Uh, I don't think that anyone would be that interested in watching that happen. Um, when I was hollowing it out uh, at the start with the um, forced a bit, you probably noticed the colour change. This piece still obviously had a fair bit of moisture in it. Um, so some of these cracks have opened up a bit. Um, so I'm just going to make up some more epoxy, um, black epoxy, and just fill the gaps again, and I'll come back after it's dry, uh, probably tomorrow, and sand it all up again, and she should be sweet. Luckily, it hasn't moved too much, even though it sort of had a bit of a um, expedited uh, dr drying regime there, but yeah, it's all pretty running pretty true still, which is good. So I'll uh, mix up some more black and whack it on. The epoxy's all dry now, a um, day later, and so I'm just going to scrape it off and sand it all back, and otherwise she's just about, you know, certainly on the on the way to being done, I'll flip it over and um, just take the bottom off, but yeah, it's getting there. Radio, it's all filled again, sanded up to 400 on the outside part. I mean, it's a bit rough down here, but I'm going to be hitting it again. Um, so I'm going to flip it around and just finish off this last bit, um, clean up the tenon. Um, hopefully just take a bit of a light cut. The wall thickness is getting a little bit thin down the bottom. Um, but yeah, we'll flip it around, put in a, a friction chuck. Um, and clean it up and we should be done pretty soon on this spit and then I'll make the lid.
I don't know if you can see uh, some of these eyes here. Uh, I need to just chuck a little bit of bog in them. I've got some quick, and quick drying stuff, so um, I'll just give it a bit more of a sand, get the shape right, and then um, quick fill, come back in half an hour or so and finish off sanding, and I'll just part it off, I don't know, 10 mil up from where the bottom is just so because I've hollowed it out quite quite deep um, so we had the the right volume for the ashes in it so um, I've just quickly checked it so I've got about I don't know 16, 17, 18 mil from the bottom to the bottom of where I've hollowed it out so I don't want to stuff things up this far on so I'll just it will be a bit smaller the foot than I want but um, I think it will still look nice uh, probably what shouldn't be too top heavy either um, especially something that's going to be sitting on a mantelpiece or a bookshelf or wherever they want to feel like putting the ashes but yeah somewhere around there rock and roll Radio, we're all sanded up. Uh, 400. I'll give it a hand sand with 600 when it's off the lathe and all done. Um, now it's time to part it off. I'm a bit nervous about it. Uh, I know I've, I should have plenty of wall thickness, um, but it can be a little bit stressful sometimes when you put all this time and effort in. Um, so yeah, if it does all go wrong, then you'll be watching me make another one. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Cool.